Hello everybody, Jermaine's Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I want to talk about an update that happened to the Octopus application, which is the application that allows you to play Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy devices with either a PS4 controller or the Xbox One S controller. In a previous video that I shot, I showed that you're able to play Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy devices with the Xbox One S controller. Now it's been getting a lot of views and I think it's been getting quite a few comments of people not being able to find the Octopus application. And so this video here is to let you know what that update did and hopefully maybe when it's going to come on back. Now within that video, I did not show you how you're able to play Fortnite with your PS4 controller. I originally tried to do it with the Bluetooth functionality, but it was super laggy, it was slow, and it was just not a fun situation for any type of a gamer. But I was going to do a video here shortly showing how you're able to do it if you were to plug in the PS4 with your little USB dongle that came with a device. So that will be a video that will be coming up shortly once they reinstate this application back onto the Play Store. So let me show you what happened. The specific application that we are talking about is this one here called Octopus 64-bit. It has a little blue octopus on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side is another little design, but it makes it look almost like a heart. Now over here, when you search for Octopus 64, you do not have that option popping up on the Google Play Store, but if you previously have downloaded Octopus 64-bit and you read this little notice right here, which I'll read it to you right now, just in case if you didn't download it previously and you're trying to play Fortnite with a controller, uh, this is what's going on. Due to some small problems, Octopus 64-bit for Fortnite has been suspended by the Google Play temporarily. We're handling this and will reinstate Octopus 64-bit. By the way, Fortnite gamepad detection problem has been fixed. Please wait for reinstating. Meaning, if you tried to play the game and you originally have the Octopus 64-bit uh, application, it'll state that the gamepad is not being detected or it's not working properly. Um, we're talking about the gamepad detection problem. They're stating that they fixed that but the reinstating of getting the application back on the Play Store is what they're working on now, which they will get that up shortly, I'm sure, because there's really nothing wrong with this. And I know for a fact Google Play Store will want it. Um, Fortnite is going to want it because it's a way to bring you know gamers from the consoles to actually play it onto a touchscreen device. So if you're trying to search for Octopus 64-bit and you're trying to find it on the Play Store, you will not be able to find it. Even if you have it, you will notice this little um, notice on the very top talking about the reason why you're not able to use it. But again, in some future videos, I will upload another video whenever they do reinstate this application back and it's live and active so you guys know that it is. Also, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button so this way when it does become active, you're able to know instantly. Also, please be aware for some future videos where I will show you how, you're able, how you are able to play the game with a PS4 controller, but you do have to plug it in. Other than that, you can actually watch a video that'll link right up over here that you are able to watch the full video of me playing Fortnite with an Xbox One S controller. Outside of that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here. You can hit subscribe on this little red circle on the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.